Mr. Ed here. Today is March 3rd, 2018. Today I'm in Slidell, Louisiana. I'm actually only about three blocks from where I pulled a swarm out uh, last year. And uh, I'm, I'm this, today we're looking at what I think is a, still a swarm. Uh, the homeowner said that the bees have only been here for a few days. Um, and I don't know, they're, they're very active right now. And uh, so I really don't know what's going on there. So we're going to go ahead and open up the ceiling, pull down the uh, soffit, find out where the bees are. Normally I would, I would want to, if it's a swarm, I just want to leave a box here and uh, um, let the bees congregate on the box. But I was already at another job this, after, this morning and I don't have any, any comb in the uh, box. So I'm going to just go ahead and vacuum them up and I'll bring them up to the abbey and turn loose on uh, some comb, drawn out comb that we've got up there if it is a swarm. If it's not a swarm, I'll cut the comb out and uh, put the uh, comb that I cut out um, in, into a box. I do have another box in the truck. So by the grace of God, these slide LBs right here, just a little while, they're going to become Abbey honeybees. Now before, before I, I get started, i gotta, I got to do a little shout out of my boy Yappy, the bee man. He's got a YouTube channel, uh, kind of like mine, and uh, if you go over there, the guy, the guy's a funny guy, and the guy is a queen catcher crazy guy. That guy can catch queen bees really well. So you happy? What's up? All right, let's wrangle some bees. And there they are. Look at that. I know they've already got some comb built underneath all that stuff. Even though they've only been here a few days. There's comb in there already. So I'm going to go ahead and start the vacuum. And uh, yeah, I'm looking for that queen. If Jesus blesses us with it. Alright, let's vacuum these bees out of here.
folks. I've been vacuuming for about half an hour now. Got the numbers knocked down pretty good. There's our comb right there. Uh, still no sign of that queen. But I'm still working on it. Trying to pull these bees out by hand and vacuum them. It's just a little difficult right now. One good thing, they don't have, there's an end to it. You can see the fire block right there, so they can't run any further than that. So that part's good. All right. We'll go ahead and start vacuuming some more. <laughs> looky here folks looky here looky here mr ed got the queen again thank you jesus thank you jesus i tell you i'm i'm running out of everything up here my flashlight's uh going out my battery on the camera's going out i'm wearing out of steam but look jesus blessed us with the queen and thank goodness because if we didn't have this girl right here this this colony wouldn't make it all right, well, let's finish vacuum up these bees and we can put a wrap on this one. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you. Well, folks, they're all gone now. Yeah, we got a couple more um, field bees still coming in. I'm going to wait about another half hour and uh, make sure they land in here and get them to. Yeah, that's our queen. I'm using her as bait right now just to draw them in. Um, but everything is clear inside of here i've been doing this for about half an hour just having her sitting right there and grabbing the bees as they come in i'll do it in about half an hour more but we're gonna get all these girls bring them up to the abbey all right check back about half an hour i'm gonna show you the bees and we'll head up to the abbey oh, that's a nice queen and here you go got our bees vacuumed up Oh man, that sun is going down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back up to the Abbey right now. And um, here's a, this is all the comb that I took out of there. I just that's, that's just four or five days of comb right there. But I'm going to head up to the Abbey right now. And it's going to be dark by the time I get up there. So I'm going to release the bees. But I'm going to uh, pick this video up again tomorrow when I come and release that queen. Because I'm actually going to keep her in the cage overnight. Um, I'm going to get up to the Abbey and, and um, use some old brood comb that I've got. I'll stick it in the box and then set uh, her inside of that box also. And tomorrow, we'll pick this up tomorrow on Sunday. Uh, and we'll release the queen. The bees will already have been up in, in the box, but we'll release the queen onto um, some of the brood. So I'll see you tomorrow. It is Sunday morning and I'm back up here at the Abbey. When I got here last night, it was about 7.30 when I got here uh, to set up the boxes. And uh, what I did when I got up here, I took the yellow box and I added a whole bunch of old drawn out uh, comb, um, brood comb, and then some uh, honeycomb in there. Um, and I placed the queen in the cage and I rubber banded her in there. After I did that, I took that box and I placed it on top of 
the box that the bees were vacuumed into. And uh, once, once I, I place it on top of there, there's a screen between, between the yellow and the red box. And then I, I pulled the screen out and that released the bees that were in the um, red box to, to come up to the uh, yellow box. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to take my uh, yellow box and uh, actually set it on my, my screen dividing board, and, uh, which is in the car. And, uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, then release the queen. Um, and after I release the queen, shake out all the um, frames that have bees on it, still that are down here and, and in, in our catch board down here. And I'll shake all the bees out, let them orient on the hive again. And then after that, I'm going to uh, take a, a little jar of honey and uh, sit it right on top of, of the uh, inner cover and close it up. I'm going to put another super around this one and let them go for that. So that's the process for what I'm going to do right now. And uh, oh yeah, and I got to add this other frame in there too. All right, so let's go ahead and do that right now. There are a lot of bees in this box. And here's that frame with the queen on it. Here she is in the cage right here. Remove these rubber bands right here. And then place this piece of comb back in there. I'm going to go ahead and release our queen. And actually turn it loose right on one of her pieces of comb. And there she goes. She just dropped on. She's right here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's drop her in. Slide these across. Like I said, these are all frames with drawn out comb on them. Something to give these bees a jump start. Now we're going to go ahead and, and drop in the ninth, the tenth frame. Now we're going to go ahead and empty the bees from our, our vacuum box. Now the process I do with this is a little bit different because I just bump the bees to the outside and let them crawl into the box. Go ahead and take our honey jar, put it right here. That off. Now we're just going to bump these bees out of here. And you'll see they're all going to go to the entrance of this hive. We just want them off. And after I bounce these bees, I, I throw the frames because I don't want the bees to land on them again.
throw them far because I don't want the bees to be landing right here by the box again. I want them to go into the box, not back on these frames that they were on. And the plastic frames, you can throw them pretty good. bounce the box. A lot of a lot of comments are about the vacuum cleaner. You know, does the vacuum cleaner kill bees? I'm gonna grab the camera right now and show you. You just saw me lift it off of there and I'm gonna show you there are absolutely well there might be two or three dead bees in here but there's there's no dead bees in this box. Let me show you this. Now here is the inside of our vacuum box and there may be two or three dead ones right there and one or two right here. But for the most part, all the bees that were vacuumed, all the bees vacuumed, you know, it's such a small percentage that are lost due to the vacuum. So the question, the answer to the question is the vacuum harmful to the bees? No, vacuuming bees is not harmful. And there you have it. Now you can see all the bees, they're just landing right on the front right here and they're just all going to go inside. Very successful swarm capture. That's all I have for you on this one. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching. I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm out of here until the next video. Hey Steven, what do you think about these bees underneath your bedroom wall? Is that scary? Not to me actually. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Alright, let's take these bees out of here, huh?